it is very important to know about your study area if you are not going to physically visit your study area but i recommend you you must physically visit your study area at least once or you may be familiar with your area and its crop pattern if you are not interested to visit your study area physically it is recommended to explore the area through the google earth pro so on the google earth pro if you don't have you can install it it is freely available just search on google google earth pro or simple version of google earth is also enough if you are not interested to install the pro we are not going to do any work in google earth we are just seeing the pattern of crop in that area so after opening the google of it it is showing the weather uncheck the weather so let's i am zooming into the study area of interest so i have decided to calculate the crop yield of a, this district so we are not focusing on the urban area it is very much important to see where are the crops and keep in one thing mind that google earth image and image that we will obtain both have a different time span so we use this image just for a reference not for a, any analysis so outside of the city just zoom into the agriculture fields and you can find in between the villages there are a number of agriculture field appear some are harvested or some may not harvested this is the image of a different time but one thing is clear that that each area has a agriculture field and we need to find a cluster of fields so if there is a cluster of fields then this area is very easy to classify so this image google earth show it is a month of may means crop are harvested you can click on the timer and back it for some other year you can see this is the area this is a second february 2022 image and you can see all the crops are similar and it is very rarely different crops are present so majority of a one crop is in, is appearing in this area so different crops are appear like that like this is something different green and this is something different green but you can see this is all the wheat fields that are very clearly visible and this is the that season that i discussed the full green season of a that area so if you go and physically you will also find this fields but if you are not going to visit this area physically you can see it through google earth it is very clearly visible field of crops so like that you have to explore your study area but this does not tell you the quality of the area it is good or not good which crops are in a good condition which has a good yield and which has a not good yield like that so it is i recommend that first you make the crop yield model and just physical visit of study area is enough even sampling is not required but if you are interested to take the sample then it is up to your choice or if your pi is telling you to you must go to study area and take a sample then you have to go it and take the samples and literally model all the samples in the same way that we are doing or you can use that sample to validate your model result also that i will also show you the at the end of tutorial how to do it sampling is just for the verification of the result so we will make a crop yield for this area and validate by the nearby area for where we have given no any sample so let's we start our work in the next video and we have decided to use the lens set image but it is up to your choice you can use a sentinel 2 or whichever satellite is available but near infrared and red bands are required only so let's i move further and going into the explore other things let's we will manage the data first for this area so i'm stopping this tutorial here